Hi folks, my name is Lisa and I am a menstruality coach based here in Dublin in Ireland and what that means is that I help women um, live in sync with their menstrual cycle for a more balanced and fulfilled life and I'm going to start doing some YouTube videos about menstruality and how to live in sync with their menstrual cycle and today I'd like to speak a little bit about why and how to track your menstrual cycle. So in recent times, menstruation has become a very public conversation. And one part of that is menstrual cycle tracking, whether it's using an app or your diary, it's become a very, very popular thing to do. Let's look at why it's good to track your menstrual cycle. So the reason why many women are beginning to track their menstrual cycle, and this is also a personal reason for me and why I began to track my menstrual cycle was because I was experiencing a lot of pain, unexplained period pain and the contraceptive pill wasn't enough for me because A, it wasn't working and B, I was getting a lot of side effects from it. So tracking my menstrual cycle was one way of me understanding my body when I began to look at more alternative ways to healing and support for very severe period pain. So tracking your menstrual cycle um, can help any woman if they want to explore pain in any kind of way as well as diet, um, it helps us understand whether if there's anything we're eating in our diet during during the month that might contribute to stress or pain, whether it's period pain or even um, middle schmerz, which is pain during ovulation. Um, so that's one reason why women are beginning to track their menstrual cycle. Another good reason to track your menstrual cycle if you're not suffering with any pain is to harness your energy levels. So Perhaps there are days during the month where you feel really flat or lethargic or stressed or um, any kind of un unpleasant emotions. Or if you have a very busy life, perhaps you have a family and a full time job and you would like to harness the natural energy levels, the ebb and flow of your menstrual cycle to your advantage so that you can work with it as opposed to work against it. Another good reason to track your menstrual cycle is to understand your body. In this day and age, there's a lot of talk about mindfulness meditation and spirituality. And it's a lot about working with the mind and with the head and with thoughts. And tracking your menstrual cycle is a really, really good way to um, begin to bring an embodiment practice into your spiritual practice. So it's not all just about thoughts, but it's also about your body and understanding your emotions through your body. Another really good reason which I personally really love um, to track your menstrual cycle is to harness your creativity. So what I mean by that is, is that um, when you begin to understand the changing energies, the cyclical energies of your body as a woman, then you can harness your creativity. So for example, there might be days during your menstrual cycle where you feel more um, inspired um, to explore different ideas and there might be a sense of play involved to a creative project. Maybe you're thinking about writing a book and there might be a day where you feel um, it's a really good day for brainstorming or talking things out with a trusted friend compared to another time in the cycle when if you're working on a creative project there might be a better day for you to work on editing your, your book, for example, or maybe you're writing essays or a poem or you're working on a creative project in work. And so that's a really, really good reason to track your menstrual cycle because women are so different every single day of their cycle. We have a different uh, physiological makeup because of our hormones and then therefore that has an impact on how we feel, how we think, how we act, how we want to, how we want to um, work in, in the workplace, and it also has an impact on our creativity. Perhaps you're a woman in the workplace and you are in a high-level job and there's a lot of stress. Tracking your menstrual cycle is a really, really good way to harness your energy levels in the workplace and understand how best to look after yourself. Perhaps you have a presentation coming up or a difficult conversation with a boss or a team member or you're going on a trip for work, tracking your menstrual cycle is a really, really good way to prepare yourself and to understand what your needs are when it comes to um, showing up fully at work. Then on a more deeper level, tracking your menstrual cycle is really good for working with, say, your inner critic. Perhaps you have noticed that you have a very, very strong inner critic and you're trying to get something written or you're trying to achieve something or 
you have dreams and ambitions, um, but your inner critic is kind of blocking you from achieving your ambitions. Tracking your menstrual cycle is a really good way of working with your inner critic because it helps you see where your inner critic is coming through stronger during different days of the menstrual cycle. And this is something I will speak on in more depth another time, but it's a really, really good way to be more gentle and kind to yourself. If you're someone who is working with a therapist and you're going through deep process and emotional healing and perhaps you've experienced trauma in the past and you're processing through difficult emotions or you're kind of feeling a little bit stuck in life, perhaps you're not sure whether to stay or to leave a relationship or whether to stay or leave a job, tracking your menstrual cycle is a really, really good way of um, developing an intimate relationship with yourself and with your body as a woman. And it'll, it'll support you through a difficult time and it will help you understand your body when you are processing emotions and going through something difficult. And lastly, um, again, on a more deeper level, tracking your menstrual cycle um, will help you to develop trust and a stronger relationship with your intuition. And um, so I kind of describe this as getting to know your inner oracle um, because the menstrual cycle is a life death life cycle that is in the center of a woman's body and it is part of creation it is what we all came from so there's kind of more esoteric reasons to to track your menstrual cycle which go that little bit deeper so let's look at how we can begin to track our menstrual cycle so i'm sure many of you have seen apps um, that you can use on your phone my favorite app that i'm using at the moment is clue um, it is a, I think they're a German company and the reason I like it so much is because they work with a lot of different algorithms and it's a really easy to use app with a lot of really, really great features and it's also free to use. So you just put in the day one of your menstrual cycle, which is the first day of your period and then it does calculations and can predict when your next cycle will be depending on how regular your cycles are. And you can enter in all different types of physical and emotional mental symptoms symptoms in there, um, such as how much you're bleeding, how much pain you feel, what mood you're in, um, all sorts of different things. I also like to put input the day of my menstrual cycle into my Google Calendar because I use Google Calendar across all of my different devices. Um, so on the first day of my period, I will put in day one at the top as an all day event in my Google Calendar. And um, I don't put it in every single day, but I'll, I might take a day where I put it in every few days just to keep an eye on where I'm at. And that will help me know in advance what week I will be in. So if, for example, I'm expecting my period next week, then this week I know um, to not schedule in too many social events because I experience quite a lot of pain and I need a lot of rest during my period. Um, so that helps me foresee what kind of energy I will have in the coming week. I am also a big fan of pen and paper, so I really like to have a diary. Um, and I have just a diary here that I can show you. So it's really nice to treat yourself to a pretty diary, especially for your menstrual cycle. Um, if you're someone who likes to journal, um, I recommend getting a special diary just for your menstrual cycle. Or if you already have a journal, then what I would recommend is that you input the day of your menstrual cycle with your journal entry because then you can look back and see um, you know what you were talking about when you were journaling and so if you have a diary like this where you have dates you can input um, day three day four for example in the date of your menstrual cycle and you can do that in advance so if you for example are on day one today then you can put in advance for a few weeks going forward what days you're going to be on on your menstrual cycle and then you can also plan in advance and lastly, my favorite way to track the menstrual cycle, which takes a little bit longer, but is a wonderful way to get to know yourself physically, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually, is really, really simple, actually. And it doesn't really cost very much money and zero technology. So you do need a pen and paper. And I recommend that you get um, just an A4 pad like this one, any old A4 pad. And you can get a nice one and you can assign it for, this isn't a particularly nice one, but um, you can assign it to yourself for your menstrual cycle. And then what you do is, um, because the reason I like this and I'll explain why is because when you are tracking your menstrual cycle in your calendar or on an app or in a, a regular journal like the one I just showed you, 
it's really difficult to see trends across um, the different days of your menstrual cycle. So you can see, um, you know, day one will be next to day two, but then it's really difficult to compare day one from month to month and how you were for the first week in your menstrual cycle across different months. Here, I have um, gridded the page on both sides. So it looks like this. Da -da. So you have grids. So I have here 12, quadra 12 squares. So that will make up essentially 12 different menstrual cycles. And if you have, if you have a regular cycle, it's more or less like a year of your menstrual cycle in, in a page. So what you do then is, um, if you can see, you take um, one of these squares is going to be day one of your menstrual cycle and then you chart physical, mental and emotional um, experiences or symptoms, if you will, of your of your period. So say, for example, on day one, you get, you get a lot of pain. You might write that down, what kind of pain it was and how it felt. Mental, maybe you had a racing mind, emotional, maybe you felt happy and blissful or maybe you felt sad and you cried. So you write all that down and you can just write even just a few words and then you write the date and that's day one of your menstrual cycle. So imagine I'm today on day one of my menstrual cycle. And then what you do then on day two, instead of going to the next quadrant, because these are all assigned to day one, you go to um, the next page, which will be the same. Day two will then be on the next page and you have the quadrant. So all of these, of these quadrants are assigned to day two of your menstrual cycle and you do the same. So let me just return to day one. So what you do then is the next month when you have day one again, you go back and then you have day one here from this month compared to day month from day one from last month and then you can cross compare all of your day ones for 12 months and it's really easy then to see what's been going on for you on day ones and then again when you go to day two it's the same thing you can see then cross compare what's been going on for you for day two and then you have it all the way up until I don't know day 28, 29, because you have all of these pages that you can fill into quadrants. The reason why that's really, really helpful is because you can then much more clearly and much more easily cross compare and see the different seasons of your menstrual cycle, what your needs are, how you felt. Maybe you had an argument with your boyfriend for three or four months, the same argument on day 20 of your menstrual cycle or in and around day 20 of your menstrual cycle. Maybe you you notice that you feel irritable on a particular day of your menstrual cycle more often. For me, for example, I noticed that I began to get a lot of headaches on day three of my menstrual cycle. So what I did then was I started doing more um, yoga and spinal movement and breathing exercises to help me with that. And that actually really helped um, as well as reintroducing caffeine um, around day three because I stopped um, in taking caffeine on day one for the first week of my menstrual cycle and then it actually gave me headaches. So I started to drink my black tea again on day three. Um, and the reason I cut out caffeine was for, for pain management. Um, but that's another, another thing to talk about again. I'm going to leave it there. Let me know what you think. Let me know how you track your menstrual cycle. If you have um, found any interesting trends on different days of your menstrual cycle, what apps you prefer to use, what kind of way you, you prefer to track your menstrual cycle. Has it helped you? Has tracking your menstrual cycle helped you? You can leave a comment down below and I'll talk to you soon. Bye!